ब्रिटेन प्रधानमंत्री बोरिस जनसन को भारत गस्तर आज हो द्वित दिन राष्ट्रपति भवन ने बोरिस को प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी आनुष्ठानिक भाव स्वागत करने उभयों मध्य बैठक आरंभ हो दिल्लीर हायद्राबाद हाउस में बैठक जारी रही दुई नेता आतंकवाद और प्रतिरक्षा प्रसंग नहीं आलोचना हो रुष युक्रेन युद्ध प्रसंग में दुई नेता आलोचना करेंगे प्राय एक बिलियन पाउंड चुक्ति होवार संभावना रही समस्या के समाधान के लिए डायलॉग और डिप्लोमेसी पर बल दिया हमने सभी देशों की क्षेत्रीय अखंडता और संप्रभुता के सम्मान का महत्व भी दोहराया हमने एक पीसफुल स्टेबल और सिक्योर अफगानिस्तान और एक इंक्लूसिव और रिप्रेजेंटेटिव गवर्नमेंट के लिए अपना समर्थन दोहराया यह आवश्यक है कि अफगान भूमि का प्रयोग अन्य देशों में आतंकवाद फैलाने के लिए नहीं होना चाहिए एक्सलेंसी आपने हमेशा भारत और यूके के संबंधों को मजबूत करने के लिए विशेष प्रयास किए हैं इसके लिए हम आपका अभिनंदन करते हैं एक बार फिर आपका और आपके प्रतिनिधिमंडल का भारत में हार्दिक स्वागत है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर May I now request His Excellency Thank Right, right Honourable Boris Johnson, Prime Minister? Thank you very, very much. Thank you, well, and my friend uh, Prime Minister Modi, Narendra, my my cast dost, I think is the the phrase I want in uh, in Hindi. Uh, we've had a fantastic two days here uh, in India, and I, I, yesterday I became the first Conservative Prime Minister to visit Gujarat, which is uh, your birthplace, of course, uh, Narendra. But as you, as you've just said, the ancestral home of about half. Of all the British Indians, and I had an amazing reception. Absolutely amazing. I felt a bit like Sachin Tendulkar, uh, in, uh, and uh, uh, my face was about as ubiquitous uh, everywhere as, as Amitav Bachchan. Uh, I was I was everywhere to be seen, and uh, it was it was fantastic. Now this morning we've had wonderful talks, and I think that they have strengthened our relationship uh, in every way. In in challenging times, it is very important that. Uh, we, the Kasdos, get closer together, and I believe the partnership between Britain and India, one of the oldest democracies, Britain is one of the oldest. I mean, in Iceland, they, they say is older, but we're well, one of the oldest, and uh, India, uh, certainly the largest uh, democracy, is one of the defining friendships of our times. And what we're doing is taking forward an ambitious ten roadmap for British. Indian relations that we agreed last year. It was great to see you at the G7, uh, but uh, since then the threats of uh, of autocratic coercion have grown even further, and it's therefore vital that we deepen our cooperation, including our shared interest in keeping the Indo-Pacific open and free. So today we've agreed a new and expanded defence and security partnership. A decades-long commitment that will not only forge tighter bonds between us, but support your goal, Narendra, of Make in India. The UK is creating an India-specific open general export license, reducing bureaucracy and slashing delivery times for defence procurement. We've agreed to work together to meet new threats across land, sea, air, space. And cyber, including partnering on new fighter jet technology, maritime technologies to detect and respond to threats in the oceans. We're extending our partnership as science superpowers and building on the collaboration between Oxford, AstraZeneca, for instance, and the Serum Institute of India, which vaccinated more than a billion people against COVID, including I'm proud of the, I have the, the Indian jab. Uh, in my arms, and a power of good uh, it did me. So many thanks uh, to India, and that has helped India to become what Narendra has called the pharmacy of the world. Today, we're embarking on joint initiatives on 
malaria vaccines, on antimicrobial resistance, and a digital partnership between the Indian National Health Authority and our NHS. We're also taking big steps together on energy security, helping each other to reduce our dependence on imported hydrocarbons and cheaper, more sustainable, homegrown uh, alternatives. And we have a new offer, a new plan to develop offshore wind from the Celtic Sea to Danish Cody. We've got a new UK-India hydrogen science and innovation hub, and we're taking forward the Green Grid Solar Power Initiative that you and I began, uh, Narendra, at COP26 in Glasgow together with 80 other countries. It's an incredible fact uh, that the sun provides enough energy every day to power the world 10,000 times over. You have a, a lot of solar power uh, here in India. It's put, the sun's putting on a fantastic performance today. Uh, and, but we have quite a lot uh, in Britain as well. Thank you.